Sorry if you can hear the dishwasher, it should be shutting off any minute. It's almost two o'clock in the morning. I am up making ice cream. So I create these recipes in the Ninja Creamy and I kind of play around with them, tinker till I find what I like. And this is one that's awesome. This is a high protein, high fat. If you're a fitness person, you know what that means. That tastes like butter pecan ice cream. Matter of fact, if you add pecan nuts to it as mix-ins, it tastes just like it. But even without the pecans, it is still pretty amazing. It's a very creamy vanilla. The way that we make this is, now I'm making for 8 pints, so if you're doing less than that, you just got to do the math. So for 8 pints, you need to put 1 cup of butter. I'm using stick butter. But one cup of butter into a bowl and melt it. And I'll bring you back when that is done. You're also going to need a large bowl and 10 cups of water to it. I pretty much always use powdered milk and I actually use great value from Walmart when I'm cooking because I don't really drink a lot of milk and if I just bought milk it would just spoil. So you want three cups of powdered milk added to this. cups of powdered milk. Next you want to add two cups of granulated sugar. Next your melted butter, your one cup of melted butter, add it. Next, you're going to add eight scoops of vanilla protein powder. I'm actually using Body Fortress. Um, you can use whatever brand that you use. This is where we're going to get our high protein from, and the butter is where we get our high fat contents from. So, eight scoops of vanilla. Next, you're going to add eight tablespoons of vanilla extract. Next thing you're going to do is use a wire whisk to kind of get this mixed up. This is the initial mix. I'm then going to switch over to an immersion blender or you can use a handheld blender or whatever you got. I just start with the wire whisk first because the immersion blender will just cause all this powder to become airborne. Switching over to the immersion blender. Usually I pulse it that way until most of the um, solids that are floating on the top are mixed up. They don't have to be perfect. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take and fill up our cups 
up to the fill line do not go over I don't know you're probably not gonna be able to see this maybe you will maybe you won't but basically I just scoot the bowl over to the edge and then I just tilt the bowl a little bit and let it pour in so that the countertops actually holding the weight of the bowl And as I fill them, I put the lids on them. Usually if I have where like this last one come up just a little bit empty, so it's not quite filled up all the way. I add just a little bit of water to it. It isn't going to matter in the overall. I mean, it's kind of a little, little bit diluted taste, but it don't affect it that much. Now that we got that down, they go in the freezer overnight. I'll bring you back uh, when that's done. I'll go ahead and put these in the freezer. Then we'll go ahead and add one to the creamy, and I'll show you what it looks like. Yay. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and put this in the Ninja Creamy. I'm gonna show you a little trick. I put about two or three tablespoons of water on top of this. Doesn't have to be much, just a little bit. You kind of see it in there. Then, take the top off, add it in here. Put the top back on it. Put it in the Ninja Creamy, lock it in place, turn the power on, start it. And just like that, we have ice cream. So the next thing I do, I take this off and I put about a half, you know, it, however many pecans you want. Something like this. I put the lid back on it. And then I do re-spin. I'll bring you back when that's done. So I'll go ahead and tell you this recipe is pretty versatile. Um, I've had this just the way I'm fixing it now. I always take and scrape out the top of this with a spoon because this ice cream is just too good to waste. Oh my. Anyways, so I've had it just like I'm making it now. I've also had it without the nuts but with Hershey's chocolate syrup. I've also had it without the nuts and used peanut butter fit. I've also had it with the nuts, like now, but I've also had it with the nuts and I made some uh, caramel syrup using sweetened condensed milk. And uh, that would be more like a caramel pecan uh, butter ice cream. But this right here is really good. Give the recipe a try. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Mmm. Man.